Oh yeah. That's fine. Ah, yeah. Mm. Bridget, does your back itch? It sure does. Here, come here, I got you. Okay, now do me. Hey, this gives me an idea for a video. Back scratching? No. <laughs> Hey everyone, Bridget here at Como Park Zoo and Conservatory. I'm in our Tropical Encounters Rainforest exhibit, and today we're gonna to talk about some rainforest species and their special adaptations on how they survive in the rainforest environment. In particular, a special relationship that certain plants and animals have adapted to over time to work together to help each other survive. This is called mutualism, a relationship in where both organisms benefit. Let's go see a prime example of mutualism right now. Here I have two rainforest species in a mutualistic relationship. In this jar, I have some poison dart frogs. Poison dart frogs are native to the South American rainforest. This plant is called a bromeliad. It's an epiphyte which grows all over the rainforest trees. In the middle of the bromeliad, you'll notice there's a little cup of water. This cup of water collects rainwater, and it's very important for this poison dart frog's relationship. The poison dart frog parents will put their tadpoles in the center of the bromeliad, and that gives the tadpoles a nice, safe space to grow up. In return, the plant gets nutrients through the tadpole's poop. Kind of gross, but in an environment that's as harsh as the rainforest, you need all the nutrients you can get. The poison dart frogs that are here in Tropical Encounters are displayed in a terrarium, but there are also poison dart frogs that are loose in the exhibit. This is part of the immersive experience this exhibit is meant to have. But don't worry, these frogs are not poisonous in their home at the zoo. Let's move on to a different type of mutualistic relationship. Our next mutualistic relationship is between orangutans and fruit trees. Orangutans are native to Indonesia and Malaysia. They are built for life in the trees. In fact, they're the only arboreal great ape. So what kind of adaptations make orangutans so suited for their life in the trees? When you look at their physical adaptations, one of the first things you might notice is how long their arms are. A full-grown orangutan's arm span can measure up to seven feet in length from fingertip to fingertip. This is an orangutan handprint. Notice how long the orangutan's fingers are compared to that of another ape, the gorilla handprint. Orangutans need long limbs and long fingers in order to climb and swing through the trees. Finally, we have a cast of an orangutan's skull. When looking at their sharp teeth, you might think that they primarily eat meat, but in fact, orangutans mostly eat fruit. And because of their other awesome adaptations, they're the only animal that are able to reach the fruit from the tallest rainforest trees, which makes them a very important part of the forest regeneration. Whoa, 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 Bridget. How does eating fruit help regenerate the rainforest? Well, through poop. Gross! <laughs> When an animal eats fruit, they often swallow the seeds as well. Those seeds pass through the animal's digestive tract. When an animal poops, the seeds are in the poop and go back into the soil. The animal will spread the tree's seeds as it travels through the forest. Seeds can also be spread by the animal dropping them while picking apart the fruit. This is a mutualistic relationship because the animals are eating the fruit and are benefiting because they get something to eat. The trees are benefiting because they have a way of spreading their seeds to different parts of the forest. This is why trees have evolved fruits that are attractive to animals because they want them to eat them. The fruit's strong smells and bright colors entice the animal. Most people think a monkey or an ape's favorite food are bananas. Though they might eat a banana if they come across one, they tend to go for more energy-rich fruits. For example, orangutans usually enjoy a spiky fruit called durian. Hey Jim, which one? Durian is also known for having a very pungent smell that some have compared to stinky cheese or smelly feet. In Indonesia and Malaysia, it has actually been banned in some public transportation because of how stinky it is. 
But to the orangutan, it is very tasty and has lots of vitamins, calories, and nutrients. Well, we learned about how certain plants and animals have adapted over time to benefit each other in a special relationship called mutualism. Be sure to visit Como's bromeliads and poison dart frogs next time you're here in the Tropical Encounters exhibit. Hey Bridget, I've got something for you. Oh, thanks Anne. I don't know what I'd do without you. See you next time.